Here comes the sun. People out here walking around, nobody else protecting. Let's see. A piece of junk came out with the Excalibur for a while. It's a piece of metal down there. And it's nothing good. It's a piece of junk. It's a toy car, I doubt that. Going. My first target is. likes those tips. These little uh, lobster trap tips. So you can't get away with it. I mean it's Equinox likes them and so do the others. First signal. Boy that ripped, that ripped my ears off. That's a Canadian, no? Certainly looks like one. All right. Well, come out today. I was gonna come out yesterday. I was working around the place. Keeping an eye on that southern rock field. Maybe we'll try the northern end later. There's some people out here looking for glass. Let's see what happens today. Tide's going out right now. That surf is awfully red. I think it's a lot from that muck. It's getting pulled out. A big chunk of concrete out there. Just checking my settings. I think I had my sensitivity turned down a little too much last night. Went back and checked all my settings though. Set those up. Tide's rolling out, we'll see what happens. Red clay, it's coming through. You can see it kind of bleeding. It's in the surf. Take the change the surf color even. Can to get over it last night over on that side. There's a lot of red. Blood red out here. I can't I can't get over how orange. It's all original beach sand, that orange color. It's like or it's like somebody poured a bottle of orange crushing. It's chipping this away though. The line, I got a dig hole there. Everything above there is tin foil, and everything below here is good. Got a good signal here. Woo! I got a 22, we'll live dig it, or try to. It's very, very rocky. You gotta kind of be patient when you're digging in here. I try to take the tip of the shovel and just work it around the rocks. But. They're mostly good targets. And I'm seeing plenty of orange beach sand. <laughs> Still in the hole. Boy, is that, that that's a ripping one. <laughs> got it. We got it. It's ripping. Come on out. Oh, we got one. We got another one. It's a Ringzilla. Sweet. Sweet goodness. It's that orange beach sand. If you guys ever watch Terry Shannon, he's got it down. Oh, that's a pretty one. It's definitely sterling. If you guys ever get a chance, 
and you watch plenty of metal detecting videos watch Terry Shannon I love watching guys with knowledge and uh, he hit it right on the head you look for this orange it's actually turning the surf orange you see the clump of it behind me but right I'm in this line you draw it across that's where that scene starts and I zigzag around tin foil tin foil tin foil first signal below the line on the seam in and into the rock field got a ring sweet here's the wrap-up video um, I had gotten this ring here a few weeks ago but I wanted to post some of the video and I had uh, some of that content archived and I wanted to get it off the computer um, I did go back with that Excalibur I did get a, a penny and I got a, a Canadian quarter um, sadly though I kind of missed the low tide so I was pushed up on the beach um, but I had gotten the Salvador and it says Dolly on the inside and it's Mark 925 so I believe it's one of those Salvador Dolly he has his own jewelry line they sell weird looking watches and silver but um, that came out of the upper end of the cut but I wanted to mention um, on the minus tides there's a early minus tide versus a late cycle tide um, and it's very important and when it comes into play is when you have a steep drop like you did on that beach and there's a tight 90 degree angle on the way down there's a sandbank and you got your rock wall so what happens is on the early on the early cycle you get a minus one a minus three a minus six the farther or deeper you get into the minus cycle the farther this tide creeps up and it starts to grab the sand up here on the sandbank the high end and it redeposits and it will redeposit that sand over all of the targets that were really accessible much earlier in that tide cycle so I probably would have been better off taking off Friday morning but the only problem was low tide was at 4.30 in the morning, uh, 4.19 to be exact, it was a minus 3. And I went down Saturday, and then I should have stayed Saturday, but I didn't, and I went back Sunday. But when I got back on Monday and Tuesday, anything that was down here, was it was grabbed off of that tight 90. The sand was grabbed. Because at that point, we had a, a plus. It was almost on, on the plus side because you have your real tight negatives of 1.7. So you end up with almost a 9-foot tide. You had an 8.7, an 8.8, .8, a 9.8 there. And it took it. what it started to do was grab sand off the high end of the beach up by the rock wall. And it started to pull that sand and it redeposited it down here over the targets that I was finding so that's why you really if you see a beach but not and 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 it can be anything but the the very important thing to know is if there's a if there's a steep drop off on a bank and you know this then you can play this right it's an early it's an early cycle minus tide versus a late cycle and it's very important you get there on the early side which is the first two or three days of that minus tide or that plus tide you want to get down there because these targets are accessible the later in this stage as you go when you're when you're past the say the 0.9 or the 0.98 then you get sand accumulation back over these targets that were accessible and now you've lost the ability to get them and you can and I saw it when I went down there I had switched over to the Equinox 15 inch coil and I kept gritting and gritting and there was less and less targets and you could tell that the sand had reaccumulated. Um, I walked south on the beach maybe 200 feet down to the white pipe which was a little bit below the longer black pipe and the white pipe had almost disappeared so I knew at that point that sand was being grabbed and being reaccumulated down here. but. The good news is now the minus tide and the plus because you you get a minus but you also get a plus tide on this same lunar cycle 
the plus tide now will go from 9.8 down back down to 7 and 6. And what will happen is now that sand that was accumulated now will slowly erode out and disappear because the tide is no longer coming up here on a plus 9, grabbing from that bank and redepositing it. The, the tide now only comes up maybe to the lip, and instead of, instead of being able to grab any sand, it's only going to be able to grab rock and condensed sand, which it's not... It's not going to pull any sand in, so the tide will pull back in any in a, in a quick fashion because you still got the cut there, and it will rob all that sand back off, and then the whole process repeats on the next tide cycle, which would be and I'll flip this over real quick. I know this is a little bit complicated, but it, this works. I use this all the time. So the next tide cycle will begin August seventh. And we go back to a minus three, a minus five, and a minus six. And you'll want to be out there. The key is the first three, two to three days, if if there's still a tight 90 up here. And then you'll probably get sand accumulation by the time you get over to the 05, 03, and 00 again. And then you'll have to let the, the cycle repeat again, where a few days let it stew out. Sand accumulates over the target base until the minus tide disappears and then that sand gets pulled back out again. So it's a rinse, wash, repeat cycle basically. Uh, and it's a little technical, but this has worked for me on beaches with um, high berm areas, uh, tight 90s or steep drop-offs. And you can use this over and over. I used it at Wall of Sands last, late last summer. And I got a couple of gold rings doing it. So just just food food for thought. Throughout, thought I'd share that with everybody. Um, I did, like I say, I did go back with the Excalibur, but I was boxed up high. I was in late in the afternoon. And all the minus tides in the summertime are early a.m. Uh, in New Coastal New Hampshire beaches. And we get extreme tides. Uh, down to the south coast, you don't get extreme tides like that. So you're almost better off diving or hooker diving. Uh, like somebody like Detector Comparisons does, he's got a great channel down there. So, but um, up here you get you can go way out on minus tides. Um, tides in general, actually, for the next few months, rest of August, September, kind of crappy tides, not really deep. We got we are going to get some minus sixes and minus fives, uh, some more uh, lesser ones toward the end of the month. Um, the big tide will come up, and I don't even have it for October yet, but the big tide comes up in October, November. We get the, the big king tide up here. You get a lot of flooding now because of uh, sea level rise. So on, just on a king tide alone, uh, in fact, the paper sponsors uh, people and reporters. They go out now and take pictures, and the best picture gets, I guess, wins a contest. Maybe that might be something to try this year So for me, but... Um, I like to see storms on that king tide because that kind of sets a pace for early season beach hunting. And you get a storm on a, on a king tide, you can get some really big erosion rates on the beaches. And uh, that helps and that builds a base for early, you know, early fall and through the winter where you get those layers of sand being removed. And you're getting down to the bedrock layers where all the heavier items sit like silver gold and platinum and you know that's the key to get to the older gold um and the real valuable items so just wanted to share and uh you know i threw another quick video up empty up my archives and we'll keep going i'm definitely going to try to do more videos though so uh you know stay tuned and thanks for watching